Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today, we're actually camped at a place called Blackman's Camp, Blackman's Campground. We're in the Warren Bungles National Park. That's our camp now. I'm starting this from where we're camped. It's a bloody big campground, guys. Yes, it's a national park. It's bollarded as you would expect. It has fees, of course, it's a national park. The park fees are $8 per day for your vehicle and the camping fees are $6 a night per person for an adult. Now that's probably not unusual for a national park. So it is what it is. Anyway, Kaz and I chose to buy the yearly country parks pass which is 45 bucks because we're going to plan to go to other national parks over the next 12 months so it's cheaper than paying 24 just to camp here and then more other parks now as you can see we're approaching uh, undercover area this campground is the closest one to the visitor center has this undercover area it has free gas barbecues so you can use those of course there's one other person camped here at the moment in this section we're in a section that some people would find amusing called b1 are you thinking what i'm thinking b2 you know, as you can see lots of bollarded areas there's fireplaces fires are allowed obviously in the fireplaces this particular campground that we're at has amenities block now. I haven't been up to this yet. So you're gonna see it as I see it. But from what I've heard, you can shower here as well. So is your $6 too expensive? Probably not. So, I've no idea where I'm going in here guys, so we just walk around and hope for the best. That's a management type area, it's got padlock on it. So we walk around the building. As this one's the closest to the visitors information. These dunnies are flushing. So I'm not going to take you in there, it's a toilet. But it has the men's and ladies, showers, there's a water tank there for washing up water. So apparently soon you'll have to book online for camping. Low to moderate fire, high, fire danger today. Now this section of B1, probably the most suited for swags and tents. More skippies. Now this is a Pretty bloody massive campground, guys. So over there in the distance where that caravan is, that is B2. And yes, are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? Yeah, enough of those jokes. Anyway, it's a beautiful area. I'm a bit warm at the present because it's, you wouldn't believe it, after all the cool days, we get here, it's 29. So it's quite warm, especially out in the full sun. So, to get into this section, you drive through a little causeway, and as you can see, it's all bitumen. So, there's no problem bringing in anything. This road car in here, actually camping near us. Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, the causeway's like cobblestone. It's even got an area for recycling. But they're gonna get the money, not you. Here we are in B2. It's got an amenity or undercover area over there in the distance. Looks as a little bit more suited to your caravans. It's got bigger parking bays to back into. Camp Blackman 2, hence called B2. Bigger parking bays, obviously you back down into there in your van. You put your awning out over the bollards to get your shady area. You're walking around 
as you can tell I've been walking for a while and I'm not at the end of it we do have power by the way it's over here in the section I'm coming into are powered sites now I'm guessing power costs you a little bit more I didn't check I'm sure all the info is on the websites so you can have power which obviously will suit your caravan your camper trailer so yeah it's that eh? a national park with campgrounds they've got power on them so that gives you a look at what this bit is like it looks like another toilet block over there in the distance it's bloody big this place, I tell you. So, I think you're getting the gist of what it looks like here. So, I won't walk all the way over there. I'll cut through here. Try not to disturb this guy camping over here too much. So, I'll walk up this way. Anyhow, that's the B2 section and of course there's a great big area in the middle we can't back the trailers into now, it looks a bit barren at the moment but don't forget there's been a drought and then straight after the drought flogging rain so not much is growing in here I don't think but they are trying to regenerate over there so a lot of nice grass in that area. I don't know where you can see that mountain, but that's a backdrop for when you're camping here. How pretty is that? That's just a part of the geography of this place. So that's B2. So I won't bore you with me walking over to the next bit. I'll move on to the next bit when I get there. Just coming down from B1 and 2 back to this cause, but I thought I'd give you a look at it. And even considering how much rain they've had here, as you can see, no water anywhere near be seen around this causeway. That's basically just river rocks all cemented together. It's dry as a, well, I don't know what, it's dry. Anyway, that's the causeway. So over here in B3, is further powered sites. Motor home over there. They look actually, I don't know if they're less bollarded or not. Uh, there's certainly bollards, areas you back into, but there's none, doesn't look like there's any alongside where your van opens. So if I was in a van, probably this bit. B3. So I won't disturb those people in the motorhome. Some of these, these are drive through. Get some drive through sites, guys. So for the bigger vans, got some drive throughs. There's also dump points. There's a dump point up there near the amenities block. Well, we have toilet block so that's pretty cool still lots of fires so really has got a lot of facilities so I'm guessing for six bucks a night for a person it's probably not that bad all right now I know I didn't show you very much of B3 but it is quite large, it looks like oh, 20 vans, maybe more, probably more than 20. Now it's very quiet here today, it's Friday, so I don't know if we're getting busier over the weekend, but there's been some forecasts this particular weekend for some thunderstorms, so maybe less people want to come out here. But. I came out here because why not 
All right, that's enough rabbiting on from me about this one. So we'll head back to camp and uh, I dare say I'll catch you later. So back to me. So uh, that's Camp Blackman, B1, 2 and 3. So hopefully that's been of use to you. It's in the Warren Bungles National Park. There's fees. There's two wheel drives, four wheel drive buses, cages, caravans, motorhomes, whatever you want, to get any. So that's all good. There's fees to the national parks, so I'm guessing there's no pets. Don't know, but I'd say there wouldn't be. Here comes equip the kangaroos. Anyway, I reckon I've rabbited on enough. Things to do around here, I forgot to mention that, sorry. Things to do around here. In the Warren Bungles National Park, there's some nature walks, some good hikes to go and look at the geologi geological formations. Once again, learn to speak. So, there's a bit to do up here. Bird watching apparently is really good. All right, anyway, I don't know much about that stuff. Anyhow, yeah. thanks for watching. If you like this video and the others like it, please put a like on it. If you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, guys. I love the support. And of course, all the old stalwarts that have been following me around for a long time. Thanks again for taking the time to watch my videos. And we will catch you on the next one. Cheers guys, have a good one.